and the innovator who's struggling for a toehold in the ballet shoe market. This is the CBS Evening News with Russ Mitchell. Finally this evening, for all its grace and beauty, the world of ballet is still a business. And in the world of business, the potential rewards are great for those who try to step out with a brand new product. Provided, Anthony Mason tells us, you first manage to get your foot in the door. Amidst all the beautiful moves a ballerina makes, you're not supposed to notice her shoes. She has to conceal all her exertions under this serene and radiant smile so most people don't know what she's doing physically and they don't know what a beating her shoes are taking and at sixty dollars a piece the miami city ballet spends a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year just on the delicate footwear but eliza minden a former dancer was convinced she could design a tougher toe shoe it was a combination of my own sore toes and then later, a sense of outrage that dancers have to wear these shoes that wear out after only one performance. So, looking to take a slice of the $30 million a year toe shoe market, she launched her company, Gainer Minden, and started a battle. I expected some resistance. Yeah. And she got it. Uh, beauty is paramount. That's to the untrained eye, Gainer Mindens may look just as beautiful as a traditional shoe. But to some professionals, like Merrill Ashley, a former principal for the New York City Ballet, Gaynor Minden shoes aren't beautiful enough. And the look, just the look, when I see a picture of a foot in Gaynor Minden's, I go, ooh, that's something's funny. It looks like, like somebody airbrushed a part of the shoe out or something. It looks weird. The toe shoe is more than just a dancer's tool. It's a tradition. The ballet shoe has been made essentially the same way for more than 100 years. The most popular U.S. brand, Capizio, has been making toe shoes since 1887. This is where we do all the lasting of the shoes. This is where the shoe actually comes together. The most important element, says Danny Terlizzi, is the toe box. Which is uh, a makeup of flour, starch, water, uh, latex cement. It's a pretty simple thing. Yeah, yeah, but everybody has their own recipe. That's the, that's the key. Everybody has their secret recipe. This is our special sauce. But in Minden's shoes, it's not sauce, it's high-tech foam. And you can see the midsole and the toe box is an elastomer. And this is what it looks like outside of the shoe. Right. Do they feel different? They do feel different. They're actually more comfortable. Gillian Murphy, a rising star with the American Ballet Theater, is Gaynor Minden's spokesperson. I was really drawn to the fact they don't make noise. Um, because as a dancer, we're, we're constantly trying to be more ethereal, have a, a light look. It lasts a long time, it's quiet, those are, those are qualities that are desirable, but they don't look as good. Sorry, I don't want to wear them. The conflict is the age-old conflict between tradition and innovation. Eliza Minden says she's had to win converts one dancer at a time. Ballet may be beautiful, but the toe shoe business can be brutal. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.